This knowledge clip explains the internationalization process of SMEs with the help of network theory and international entrepreneurship theory. Today, we see more and more SMEs expanding into international markets as soon as they start operating. Therefore, SMEs' roles in international markets have been on the rise. We see recent technological developments such as the use of web-based business models, click-and-go models, only online retailing platforms accelerating SMEs' efforts. Especially products and services which are innovative in their promise or in their business approach or have a competitive advantage in the marketplace are more likely to start going international from inception. This is basically due to strong globalization pressures that pull and push SMEs into international markets to ensure their survival. Although this phenomenon may seem to contradict with what the Uppsala model is telling us, we can study two other theories, namely the network theory put forward by Johansson and Matson, and the international entrepreneurship theory by McDougall and Oviat to explain the internationalization of SMEs from a different perspective. Now, let us look uh, into these theories a little bit closer. Uppsala model has been challenged by network theorists saying that high technology companies do not go through the step-by-step -step approach while internationalizing. Instead, they go through this process much faster with the help of their networks. By networks, they mean everything that surrounds the firm, such as suppliers, subcontractors, customers, distributors, the industry, all the way to market players. These companies collect market information and gain experience through their networks, which speed up the internationalization process in return. They learn market realities and what is needed in the marketplace from each other, and they are flexible enough in their decision-making processes, making changes to their product and services as required by the market. Overall, they react to changing market conditions much quickly. Their relationship of networks is built upon mutual trust and commitment. Johansson and Matson argue that as firms internationalize, their relation of networks grow, which in return helps them further in their international expansion. The firm increases its penetration in any given market by increasing its existing networks through their expertise and built upon trust. This further penetration in any given country enables the firm to gain new clients in other markets, helping the company in their internationalization efforts. This brings new clients in other markets, leading to their international integration. To sum up, the network theory stresses that internationalization is never a solo effort. Instead, it is a result of both formal and informal network of relationships including third-party contributions, ranging from government assistance programs to agents and partners. On the other hand, the International Entrepreneurship Theory, or IET, looks into the international entrepreneurs across borders, analyzing how they act. Oviat and McDougall call them International New Ventures, or INV, defining them as business organizations that from inception seeking to drive significant competitive advantage from the use of resources and the sales of outputs in multiple countries. They point out, contradictory to what Uppsala model tells us, that INVs do not adopt the step-by-step -step approach in their internationalization process. Instead, they start internationalization efforts much earlier on and all at once. Mitigve points out that IET argues that individual and firm entrepreneurial behavior is the basis of foreign market entry. So we can say that IET shifts the emphasis from the firm level to the individual level first and then to entrepreneurs and being an international entrepreneur and to some of entrepreneurial traits. The literature points out that international entrepreneurs usually have the required skills and market information before becoming entrepreneurs. They're not afraid to take calculated risks. 
and swim against the tide if they see any unmet demand in the marketplace. According to international entrepreneurship theory, internationalization can and does take place outside of formal networks. An entrepreneur firm can internationalize both through formal network and without the aid of a formal network. Hence, the network theory and the international entrepreneurship theory should be considered as two complementary theories instead of being used synonymously.